What is up, everybody? We are back playing Quest for Glory 1. And I think the thing that we need to do is make it to nighttime. So, mid-morning on day 6. So I'm going to run around and see if there's anything left for us to do. I've got uh, the potions I need. I have... I don't even... I have money, but I don't think I really need it anymore. And nine silver coins, which is fine. I mean, I already have the armor, and I have the, the tools, the picklocking stuff, so... Um, let's run. I did the Baba Yaga stuff up there, and let's see. I got... Yeah, I think. I think the last thing we need to do is break into the Brigand Hideout and uh, do all that endgame stuff. I'm sure there's lots of stuff I didn't do, but it's been a long time since I played this game, and I don't remember everything, especially for the thief. I've never used a thief before, so I'm curious to see if that piece of paper is going to be over here at some point. Yeah, there it is. That would be great, because that would mean I wouldn't have to fight that uh, troll or wait till night, so look at paper. You don't have anything like that to look at. Look at floor. You see a crumpled piece of paper under the stool. Take paper. You pick up the note and smooth out the piece of paper and read. B. Meet me at the old archery range south of town at noon. Urgent. B. All right. So now we don't have to wait till night. We just have to wait till noon, which is like half as far away. Maybe less. All right. I bought apples. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have another dagger. All right, that gives us five. Don't know that we'll need them, but... Yeah, I never did stay at the Hero's Tail Inn, did I? Well, now that I have money, I can at least sit down and buy some food. I am Shima. Allow me to serve you. Wander from afar. Do you wish food or drink? Both. Order food and drink. With great pleasure, I will serve you a fine meal. I bring you that which you have ordered. Please, may it please and satisfy you. You thank Shima and pay her. All right, eat. The food tastes surprisingly good. The beverage goes down smoothly as well. Stand. I think I got a puzzle point for that. Talk to... What's his name? Uh, very good food. Very good drink. Finest in town. Sit, rest, and you will be served by my Shima. Ask about Shima. Shima is my mate and the light of my life. If you sit down, she will happily serve you. Uh, already did that. Ask about Arana? Alas, the humble innkeeper is ignorant of that which of which you speak. Ask about King. You will not need to use the word king. Okay, ask about baronet. Baronet. A thousand pardons. I am a fool and have no answer to your question. Indeed you are. No, I'm sorry. You're, you're quite a smart guy. All right. The thief guy told me to steal the yo-yo, so let's steal yo-yo. Steal yo-yo. Talk to Otto. Otto only expresses himself physically. Well, I'm not definitely not going to fight him. All right, let's up our stealth game a little bit and check on the day. Mid morning still. So would that make noon next? I guess maybe. Uh-huh, got the apples to this guy. Oop, I wonder if that uh, actually hurts. Let's check our character stats. Yeah, it looks like we may have lost a point or two. I can't tell, which is fine. Never notice how quiet these games are until you hit, hear that odd sound effect here and there. 
I know some of the games had more music. Like I think the Space Quest games had a lot of music. It's been forever since I played those, and I really look forward to playing Space Quest Three again. That one was definitely uh, one of my favorite games from those times. Good morning. Anything going on? Uh, there's the archery range. Okay. So that's where I need to uh, overhear the conversation. I think this uh, background looks very similar. I think I'm going to go down to the brigand area because I think they use the same background for this as for that. So let me do a quick check of that. Not that I'm blaming them. You know, drawing the same four scene over and over again probably isn't that fun. Ten coins. My lucky day. All right. I think it's down here. Got my bouncer boy. And then one down from here. Yeah, that's like the exact same thing. Pretty sure. I wonder how many times they reuse backgrounds. Actually, this one's the same too, isn't it? It's just flipped with a few small changes. Ah. I'll have to keep that in mind. And even the same, uh, well, I guess the grass is a little different between these two. So I thought maybe they started with the same background image and just kind of did some small differences here. I mean, this is all I can do while I'm waiting for the, for the time to change is analyze the backgrounds for slight differences. Whoa, I don't want to be there because you don't want to... If it was that time, I think they would kill me instantly. So time of day, mid-morning, day six. Let's rest a little bit. I've been running around forever. Very nice cottage here. I think they did a really good job on the artwork on these trees. Especially those uh, pine trees in the background. They just look... For only using two colors, that black and that that dark blue it looks really good. But I feel like I'm definitely seeing the same patterns in the in the, uh, the shading on the grass. So. But enough about that. Midday. Is that noon? I guess not. Oh, here we go. I need to be stealthier. So what's this about anyway? Let me slow it down. Her nibs is starting to get suspicious about us. What's the bee in her bonnet? Her nibs? Seems the hero wandering around here has her leery. She thinks we're going to go for the gold on her head. Uh, I see. Well, your name is Brutus, so what's that to do with us? She's been asking too many questions about us. And the laughing jackass eyeing me. I had to sneak out. Then we got to avoid the ambush and use the back for a bit till the heat is off. Maybe we should just make our move now. No, let's wait for the creep to go first. While she's busy with him, we take over. She'll take him out easy, then we take her out. Where's the back door then? Where the bouncer hops around. You got your keys still? Yeah. Don't lose it. I got the only other one. You'll have to search the rock for the keyhole. It's hidden good. And remember the word. What word? The word that lets you in so that Fred goes away. Oh, yeah, sure. What is it? Hide and go seek. You better learn it. You think I'm a dummy or something? Say the word before you open the door or you might make Fred mad. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. You don't want Fred to get mad. Hey, no problem. What's the word again? Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek. Got it. 
I got to get back to the chief before the chief misses me. Be back in a bit. All right. Hide and go seek. See ya. All right. If I remember this correctly, I have to be very careful. I have to go like down and then up immediately. What you still doing here? Spy and I wager. Yeah, well, Bruno. It's not your lucky day. I'm highly skilled in combat, even though I'm not a fighter. All right, search your body. You find a single key on the brigand's body and put it away. All right, let's rest. Still be a little sneaky. Let's save it. Got key. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, he's gone, right? Um, I don't really want to fight you. Let's just go and uh, check on our friend down here. All right, say it before I open the door this time. Hmm? You know, that guy would make a great bean bag, I think. Uh, hide and go seek. Okay, you say hide and go seek. Use key. The lock in the rock clicks open. Open rock. And... He's still there. Before you react, the troll's upon you and the encounter begins. Huh, what did I do wrong? Hmm. That makes me wonder. Let's try again. So, hide and go seek. All right, I said it. Unlock, <laughs> rock, uh, open door. Hide and go seek. You hear the sound of someone or something moving deeper into the cave to let you pass. Hmm, I thought it said, <laughs> you say it before you open the door. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. All right. At least I can walk past here now. All right. I think in the back here, if you kill the troll, he is like a treasure. But if you don't, there's a strong odor of decay and other nasty smells filling the air. A pile of something unpleasant lies near the center of the cave. So maybe I can steal all that money by being stealthy? Nope. Before you notice him, a troll sneaks up behind you and the encounter begins. Can't hit me, I'm too fast. Alright, so I don't need to worry about that treasure anyway. Like, what am I going to buy with it? Sneak. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Stupid guard duty. Third time this week. Why always me? All right. I'm usually the fighter, so I usually just kill him. So I'm not exactly sure how to get past him. Um, maybe I can climb up that little, like, slide here. No, he saw me really fast. Possible I could actually beat him in combat. All right, let's save here. <coughs> I mean, I already saved. Drink, healing, potion. Drink, stamina, potion. Because I don't think my sneaking is quite high enough. All right. Just got to get a nice stabbing rhythm here. He's not blocking too long. He's pretty strong, though. Yeah. Hmm. T 
Tough battle indeed. Not in a good climbing spot. Wow, he saw me really fast. Hmm. And I'm sure I can't run away from him. So let's... I have to give myself room to throw a dagger. I want to get in one good hit before he uh, turns around and fights me. Nope, didn't get that throw in after all. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can beat him in combat actually. Hmm. My stealth is just too low for this. So let's drink two healing potions. Because I didn't realize my, my health was so low. Stamina. Potion. move at all without him seeing me. And he's blocking me so well this time. There we go. There's a good rhythm. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, he's too strong. Hmm. Well, I might have to go back to the drawing board and uh, try a new strategy or build up my stamina or something. So I think I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.